Hey replay viewers! Just waiting for people to get on in snowy Geneva. Yes, it is literally snowing. My face looks really yellow. I am parked beside a yellow car. I don't know if that's why. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's kind of wet and um, but there is snowflakes falling, which is pretty cool. Hello first viewer! Welcome! Sorry that I'm late. The reason that I'm late is, um, well, first of all, I was in the pharmacy getting some vitamins for tomorrow's sugar-free starting. So yeah, there was a long queue in the pharmacy. Hey, Penina! <laughs> Gorgeous Penina, I love your accent in our uh, Totally Mindset Reset program, the video you posted. So yeah, that's one reason I'm late. The other reason that I'm late, <laughs> I'm from New Zealand. The other reason is I was trying to actually post this from my business page. I was going to be brave. That's always outside my comfort zone. And um, I wanted to uh, to do it from my business page because I want to practice what I'm about to preach regarding um, Donald Trump and and the election. So. Okay, I'm going to get started. Hello, whoever's just joined, welcome. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> so the reason that um, I feel that I wanted to do this is, first of all, I did wake up this morning and go, oh my God, I was surprised when Trump was elected. I don't follow politics too much, but um, anyway, he was, I think, apparently, I haven't even checked <laughs> if it's finalized. <laughs> But um, it's so easy for us to, when things like that happen, to turn our attention towards and give our power to, oh my God, this is happening. This is, hey, Laura, welcome. This is, this horrible thing is happening. And yes, it's finalized. Thanks, Panina. Um, when, when something like that happens, we can get, you can really... We give ourselves, we, we, Byron Katie has this quote, if you want fear and terror in your life, give yourself a future. And that's what we do. We give ourselves fear and terror thinking, oh my God, the future is doomed, right? Um, and of course there's, there's going to be some changes and, you know, we think about, you know, you could probably write down about 10 things if you are, um, shocked and devastated like many people about Trump being elected. If, if you're happy, then congratulations. And, and, um, <laughs> and this live stream is for people who are finding this really challenging. So I've got five tips. And the first tip is don't give your power away. Don't give it so much power. Look at so many things in your life that are working right now. I mean, look at right now I am sitting here, I'm live streaming, I'm sharing, I'm breathing, I'm in good health. So many things are working in my my life. And I know I'm not living in the US um, and it doesn't influence me like it does a lot of people. But even if you think, oh my God, this is going to influence me in a massive way, just trust, trust that, uh, growth can come for that because we get to choose. We get to choose if it's a challenge or it's something that we're going to grow from. You know, all of these kinds of changes. Your attitude gets to dictate your outcome. Your attitude will dictate your outcome. If you decide, oh my God, then that's what it's going to be. If you decide, hmm, okay, I'm going to get curious here. How could this be a good thing for me? So don't give your power away. Take your power back and empower yourself with positive um, a positive attitude. You get to choose, you get to decide what that attitude is. Secondly, don't invent scenarios. Don't invent scenarios in the future. Like, hey Neve, <laughs> don't invent scenarios. So we have New Zealand on and Australia on. I think you're in Australia, Neve. Cool. <laughs> so don't invent scenarios. Don't, you know, our minds can be so uh, creative with what's going to happen in the future. What's that means that, you know, we're doomed, Armageddon, etc. And, um, you know, I won't even su suggest, but, you know, you know what goes through your mind, what you might uh, anticipate that's going to happen. And you might be thinking about, oh, those people that voted for Trump, I can't trust society anymore. And, you know, just trust that, you know, they're, they're basically people... I really fundamentally believe that people are good, right? People are fundamentally good. And it doesn't mean that if they voted for Trump that they're, um, yeah, that, you know, don't don't create the worst case scenario, okay? Um, just believe in the best of people still. Um, don't invent scenarios in the future that don't serve you, basically. So catch yourself. If you find your mind going on a tangent of, oh my God, come back to, I trust, I trust, I trust, I'm going to get curious. And also, how can I um, 
make this a good thing? How can I uh, make something good come from this, right? A very small example is what I was deciding to do and I failed just for technical reasons. I was going to um, share this on my business page and on my personal page, which is really outside my comfort zone. But I thought, okay, this is a message that I want people to hear. I want people to know that we have the power to choose how we want to react to this. And you know, it's so easy for us to go, oh my God, this is awful. And we sit there and we do nothing about it. So just decide to do something about it instead of sitting there just talking about how awful it is and not taking any action. So any action that you can take, take it, take it. You know, maybe the gift in Donald Trump becoming president is that people will finally get off their asses and take some action. So think about that. What what action could you take in a positive way? You know, use it to fuel you in a positive direction, in a direction that serves society. Okay, think. Uh, point number three, I have to remember what I wrote. <laughs> think, if I'm not happy about it, oh yeah, right, that's it. Think, if I'm not happy about it, how can I speak out or what action can I take? Use your power. That's what I, what I just said. Hey, Kira, welcome. So, um, really just decide. I'm going to make the, some good come from this and think about, get creative, think outside the box. How can I, little old me, bring some good to society because of this? Be the change that you want to see in the world. Hey, Sunny, welcome. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Okay, point number four. four so far, I'm, I've came up, I just wrote five notes quickly in the coffee shop. So far, I said, don't give your power away to with the election results. Don't, you know, choose to think positively and think, how can I, uh, how can this be a benefit for me? You know, don't automatically go down a negative spiral of thinking. Choose to uh, go down, uh, go up a positive spiral. Uh, second point was don't invent scenarios in the future that haven't happened yet about how awful it's going to be. Um, just decide to trust that it happened for a reason for, um, you know, uh, a large your universal plan that we mightn't be aware of but trust that um, this needed to happen and decide to make something good from it that's point number three you think if I'm not happy about it how can I speak out or what action can I take you know don't be a victim of this situation decide to use it to fuel you right Point number four, look at everything that is working in your life. Oh yeah, and I wrote, I refuse to let life conditions get in the way of my vision. So personally, I'm very connected to my vision, to, um, you know, my vision, which is really to bring the message to people that you have the power, you have, the power is in your hands to create the future that you want. And I'm so connected to that vision. So very little is going to get in, that, in the way of that. And if it does, you know, I'll find a, uh, a way to get around that roadblock. So decide also, you know, what is your vision? So what, what do I want? to my life? How can I serve in this world? What can I do? And don't let anything get in the way of that. You know, the, hey, Natalie, welcome. The the news today, you know, don't let that influence you. Just just keep your head down and stay focused on how you can contribute to the world and how you can um, become more aligned with your own personal vision. And so, it's, yeah, look at everything that's working in your life. Okay, just refuse to go into that, oh, you know, <laughs> get your journal out and say, okay, how do I want to feel about this? What does the best version of me choose to feel? How can I really make something great come from this? Always in times of challenge, it's an opportunity for growth. It's an opportunity for us to take some action or do something that, um, that uh, is positive. And my final point on Trump election day is, oh yeah, this is a good one. Stop feeling sorry for people. Trust that they will, you know, for example, I just heard somebody that they were talking about they're feeling sorry for a, a certain minority in the US right now and who was somebody who's feeling very upset. Just trust that those people are also going through this challenge for a reason, that something that they also get to choose how to react to that. and. You know, get out of their business, basically. I don't mean that in a rude way or a kind of a don't care about them. You know, we care about them, but trust. Don't disempower them by believing that, oh my God, they're not going to be able to handle it. They are. Trust. So if they're in a challenging situation, trust that, like I said, all of these challenges are opportunities for growth. So stop feeling sorry for people. Trust that they will deal with it or not. That's their choice, right? Um, they have the power to make empowering choices or not. And uh, just come back to your own business. Come back to how can I help? How can I serve? How can I connect with my vision and bring good to the world? And just keep your head down and keep, um, you know, aligned with that vision. That's basically it. I'm going to write a blog on it too.
from these notes. So I hope that's useful, guys. Stay positive and just trust that this happened for good reason. And um, just spread love. Spread love. There's lots of it. People are good. Even the ones that voted for Trump. Yes, there is lots of good in the world. Lots of love. So let's spread that. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.